Thanks very much. Another strong defensive showing here for the Brooklyn Nets. It's back-to-back -back victories for the first time this season. They got it done over Philadelphia at home. Now they hit the road. And a victory here in Phoenix, something that has happened quite often for the Nets. They seem to play well here in the Valley of the Sun. Yeah, whenever young guys, especially, you know, the, the base of this group, they've had confidence in a building and against another young team, I think they, they enjoy that challenge. And coming off a victory, and not that you ever want to look ahead, but understanding, like, hey, when you look at the road trip, yeah. this first game is one that we believe we can get and we need to get because those next two games that you have could be against the two best teams in the NBA. What are you seeing from Karis LeVert? Obviously, his game is so well-rounded now, and there's a confidence there and a conviction that he can take over games. What have you noticed from him? Well, I've just seen a consistency. Even when he's not shooting the ball well, he's doing great things where he's driving. He played amazing defense yep. tonight, and that's that next level. When you can score, but also you can shut down the other team's best player. And, you know, Devin Booker's a great scorer. He's going to be a great scorer for a long time in this league, but when you can hold him to what he did and still go out there and put up 20 a night, that's when you start to make those jumps and leaps as a player. There was a moment early in the fourth where the Suns made a move but it was Spencer Dinwiddie that took over in those key situations and that also is something we've seen out of Dinwiddie he has a really good feel of when he needs to do some things himself well he likes those moments he likes those moments of like hey I want the ball late in the game or I want a shot late in the clock he looks for those he strives on those and, and I think the team starts to kind of gravitate towards him in those moments and he's been delivering uh, he, he's been doing a great job of not only finishing but getting other people involved he's the one that made that pass over to Joe and uh, uh, and that for that yeah. transition three uh, late in the fourth. And so these are things that I think the team will continue to evolve, getting Damari Carroll back. That's only going to help. And I think people should be really excited about what this Nets team is doing. But they have a long road in front of them. But this is one of the best starts that we've seen in the last few years. Denver and Golden State coming up on the schedule for this four-game Western Conference.